Alright YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder with the Angry Nerd. And today we're going to take a look at the new German reserve tank, the Panzer 35T. Now, the Panzer Kampfwagen 35T, commonly shortened to Panzer 35T, was a Czechoslovakian designed tank used mainly by Nazi Germany during World War II. In Czechoslav service, it had the formal designation of Light Tank Model Number 35, but was commonly referred to as the LT-VZ-35 or the LT-35. 434 were built. Of these, the Germans seized 244 when they occupied Czechoslovakia in 1939. The Slovaks acquired 52 when they declared independence from Czechoslovakia at the same time. Others were exported to Bulgaria and Romania. In German service, it saw combat during the early years of World War II, notably in the invasion of Poland, the Battle of France, and the invasion of the Soviet Union, before being retired or sold off in 1942. The LT-35 was designed by Skoda in 1934 for the Czech Army, which had set forth a requirement for a new light cavalry tank to be delivered by the end of 1934. The LT-35 weighed in at 10.5 tons and had 25 millimeters of armor. The LT-35 was assembled from a framework of steel angle iron beams to which the armor plates were riveted. A four millimeter firewall separated the engine compartment from the crew. It had several mesh covered openings to allow access to the engine and improve ventilation, drawing air through the commander's hatch. This had the advantage of rapidly dispersing gun combustion gases when firing, but also had several disadvantages. The danger of an engine fire reaching the crew compartment was increased. The engine noise and constant draft generated by the engine greatly affected the crew during cold winter months and increased crew fatigue. The driver sat on the right side of the tank. The radio operator sat on his left. The whole machine gun was between the driver and the radio operator in a ball mount capable of 30 degree traverse, 25 degree of elevation, and 10 degree of depression. The commander was the sole occupant of the turret and was responsible for loading, aiming, and firing the main gun and the turret machine gun while simultaneously commanding the tank. The LT-35 was powered by 8.62 liter Skoda T-11-0 four-cylinder water-cooled engine producing 120 horsepower at 1800 RPMs. The engine was mounted in the rear along with a six-speed transmission which drove the rear-mounted drive sprockets. The suspension was derived from the Vickers six-ton tank. The transmission, brakes, and steering were mechanically assisted with compressed air, reducing driver fatigue. This last feature proved problematic in the extreme conditions of the Eastern Front. The main armament for the LT-35 was the Skoda UV-VZ-34 
gun with a pepper pot muzzle brake and a prominent armored recoil cylinder above the barrel. The gun was later designated by the Germans as the KWK 34T. The first production order of 160 LT 35s was placed on 30 October 1935 and deliveries began in December of 1936. In 1939, when the Germans occupied Czechoslovakia, 244 vehicles of the Czech army were seized by the Germans, where they were known as the LTM-35 until January of 1940, and later as the Panzer 35T. The T was for the German word for Czech. In German service, they were used as substitutes for the Panzer III medium tank. The Germans replaced the original three-colored light system used by the Czechs to communicate with the driver with an intercon system. They also removed some ammo and added an extra crewman on the right side of the turret to load the main gun and to operate the turret machine gun. They were assigned to the Panzer Battalion 65 of the 1st Light Division and the Independent Panzer Regiment 11, where they participated in the invasion of Poland. 77 of these were lost during the campaign, mostly due to mechanical breakdowns, but only seven of these were irreparable. From 1940 on, there had not been any spare parts available and tanks had to be completely rebuilt to remain operational. Because the Panzer 35Ts were no longer being produced and due to the absence of spare parts being made, the summer campaign of 1941 was to be their last. The fighting in Russia exposed the vehicle's unsuitability for cold weather operations and general unreliability. On the eve of Operation Barbarossa, 160 took part in the 4th Panzer Group's drive to Leningrad. They took massive losses. Only 102 were left operational in September, and only 34 by the end of October. This weakness, in addition to their thin armor and inadequate firepower, resulted in the 6th Panzer Division being re-equipped with German tanks upon its withdrawal from Russia in April of 1942. All the remaining Panzer 35Ts still in working condition in 1942 were sold to Romania. Now in War Thunder, the Panzer 35T is a Rank 1 reserve tank with a battle rating of 1.0. It has a 120 horsepower engine propelling the 10.5 ton vehicle to a top speed of 21 miles per hour. It comes equipped with the 37 millimeter KWK 34T cannon, which has a reload rate of 3.5 seconds. So my impressions of the Panzer 35T is that it is a very competent little uh, reserve vehicle. Um, it's not quite as fast as the Panzer II. Um, it doesn't put the volume of fire out that the 20 millimeter on the Panzer II does, but it does have a 37 millimeter cannon, which has a greater range than the 20 millimeter. Um, its rate of fire is not that bad, um, 3.5 seconds. Um, but it does have a lot of flat armor on it, which is not very thick. So um, do remember to angle your armor 30 to 45 degrees uh, from the person who is trying to engage you. And if you're going to pop out from behind a building to take a look, don't get flat up beside the building and drive out at like a 90 degree angle you know, get your angle before you come out around uh, the side of the building. That way your armor is already angled properly in case there's somebody um, 
that's pointed in that direction. So the vehicle is uh, maneuverable. It's not quite as fast as that Panzer II, um, but I liked it. I, I had a lot of fun in the uh, Panzer 35T. I did get killed quite quite a lot. Um, so you know that not a surprise. It's a re reserve vehicle, and when you drive reserve vehicles you are expected to get killed and that's why you get three of them in arcade battles so um why don't we hop into a battle and see what we can actually do with the panzer 35t okay here we go I well, have to excuse me, I'm yawning a little bit. Hey, we picked up Carpathians. I like this map. I don't like the new changes to it, but overall, I do like the map. Let's take a look at this ammo for just a second. Drop it down to 50 and take the rest there. Okay. Well, let's see if I can weave my way through these guys. Hey, made it through without getting hit. But I was going across the grain, so it would have been my fault if I would have gotten hit. You can see that the M2 is a good bit quicker than I am. I heard somebody firing back there. Now, I would normally just keep going straight on this road, but since they put all those rocks up there, and there's only a couple of spots that you can get through from that side, I'm going to take this right and head up here, and they're already capping up there. Let's kill him some arty. I doubt it'll hit anything, but... We'll give him some anyway. So, they've capped... Um... Yeah, they're already up there. We now have to push them off. I see some red flashing up in front of us. I can see a little bit of red through there. Oh, yeah. He just went flying through there and paid for that. Okay, I'm going to get a little piece of this guy right here. Hands are two just packed in front of me. But I can do a little bit of damage to this. Oh, shit. Well, dude, you pulled right in front of me. Okay, here we go. There you go. I was able to get him without taking hardly any damage. Because he didn't have a good firing aim on me. I can see a little bit of red right over this way. Creep up this hill just a little bit. Try to get a shot. Here we go. Old gun mantlet. 
enemy kill assist. But we need to cap we need to cap this zone, so I'm gonna head up here. And uh see if I can cap this zone. T26 up here with me. We got some artillery coming in. But we need to cap, so I'm going to stay here and suffer through the artillery attack. Okay, zone's captured. Let's move. Oh, here comes the main barrage. But I'm no worse for wear, so that that worked out pretty well. Let's see somebody right over there. There we go. Got him. Gonna get up on top of these ruins right here. Let's see if I can take some hot shots at them from over here. Let's see what we got. Cannot get this guy. They're hitting me. Got him. I'm getting too much heat. Let's back off. Give him some arty. See if I can repair. Oh sh! Ooh, I got somebody over here. That arty screwed me up too. Dang it. Come on. Dang. Run, 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 run. Oh. That bomb blast has got me stuck right in front of this little opening. At 10 seconds, 10 seconds before I'm repaired. My gunner is out, or my loader out of. See somebody over here. They're kind of down the hill, so I can shoot this guy right through here. Oh yeah, my loading. Let's see if I can get machine gunning. Enemy kill assist. Dang it, man. Just miss that guy. These guys just spawned in. Well, he's live now. Let's come back this way and peek through here for a second. What do we got there? There we go. Can't stay right there. Oh, somebody in front of me. 
I'm gonna hide for a second, get up beside this wall. See if we can engage this guy. Come on. Let me move. Oh, dang it! I'm stuck on the wall! I can't move! I am stuck on the side of this wall. Dang it. Come on. Got a party coming in. Oh! Dang it, man. Oh, I was killed by 20 millimeter right through the side. Small caliber from halfway across the map. But luckily I got three of these. So here we go again. I do like the display down in the left hand corner, the new display. kind of personalized to each vehicle that you're driving. What? Sorry about that. Hold on a second. Okay. Sorry about that. Here we go. Okay, it looks like we're taking the cap point back. We got a good number of guys up there. I don't, I don't need to rush up there right this minute. I can get some shots right over the crest of this hill. But if I can shoot them, they can shoot me. But finally. But I thought I should engage those guys before I came right out in the open here. I don't see anybody out in the open to engage, so I'm heading back to the top of the hill. Somebody back. Uh, I think that's an airplane on the screen or on the mini map. Some red right there. That's also an airplane. But, uh, yeah, we hold the top of the hill. I got friendlies up here, so I feel confident to run right through here. And like the first guy who did it a minute, a couple minutes ago. <laughs> Kind of in a hurry to get back over here where the game ends. So I'm not being quite as cautious as I should be. Just want to get over here where I can get some a view toward their spawn area. There we go, right there. Look at there. And wouldn't you know it, bounce. Got him. Got him. And taking fire again. And repairing. Let's see if I can give him some arty.
Oh well. Looks like that's all the damage we can do in this one. Okay, let's see what we did. Alright. Okay, Avenger, Adamant, Ground Wind Streak, Shadow Strike Streak, Sentinel, Professional, Multi Strike, One Shot, Heavy Metal Hero. Got 11 kills, 3 assists, 100%, second place in the team, 18,178 Silver Lions. Let's see, this guy got 9 kills, but he had 10 assists to go with those 9 kills. Let's go ahead and save it. Panzer 35. it again with level okay so the new reserve or the new German reserve vehicle the Panzer 35 T um, it's really not all that bad um, the 37 millimeter is good enough to deal with anything that you're going to face in your tier. Um, but you will, you saw I bounced two or three shots in that game, or my shots bounced off the other players. I had to get a good um, shot up against a nice flat surface to get decent penetration. It's not uh, overly powerful. Um, a lot of vehicles in this tier have uh, this same caliber of weapon. So it's a good match. It's a good reserve tank. And uh, I quite enjoy it. So if you like the video, like it. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. It really helps. But as always, thanks for watching. Nerd out.